What's good, Trey says, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, I am Will and you are watching Trey's World TV. And as you can see by the title, by the thumbnail, by the untied do-rag, you already know what we here for. And I wasn't going to do this video, but I thought about it today. I was like, hmm, maybe I should do this video. Because a long time ago, somebody asked me, hey, Will, you should do a video on how to tie a do-rag. And I was like... It's kind of self-explanatory, but I was like, hmm, nah. Cause some people like, they just put on a do-rag any kind of way. Like, let me show y'all what I mean. Like, I've seen people just do a do-rag like this. And it disgusts me when they just do it like this. There's no love going into this at all. You see this? Like, you see, you see this? It's supposed to be flat. It's not supposed to look bulked up like that. And for those individuals that follow me on Instagram at Transcend Wheel, they know that I'm growing my hair. So that's another reason why I decided to do the do-rag time video now. So what I'm about to do today is show you how to tie a do-rag, but in different ways with different do-rags. Because you can't just always tie a do-rag the same way. Like, do-rags are a part of you. Like, when you put a do-rag on, it becomes a part of you. It's who you are at the moment that you're wearing the do-rag. Well, you want your do-rags to look good, you want it to smell good. Like when your do-rags look good, smell good, you look good and smell good. Contrary to proper belief, people smell your do-rags. If you like five inches from somebody's face, they can smell your do-rag. That's why you should wash your do-rags on a weekly basis, especially if you have the same do-rag. Like if you only have one do-rag that you wear, this is not a diss to anybody, but if you only have like one do-rag or whatever and it's not silk or just one do-rag period, you need to wash that do-rag like I think every three days. But me, I have several do-rags that I just switch out. I don't just go a week away wearing the same do-rag. So, you know, I don't have to wash as much. I can just go from do-rag to do-rag to do-rag. So the first step we're gonna do is this regular, you know, tie, you know, just normal. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take it like this, right? You're gonna put a knot in it, in the back. And then you're gonna bring them, you're gonna put one, you're gonna hold one right, and you're gonna let it go, bloop. Then you're gonna take this part, or the left side, or however you feel, and bring it around town, bloop, go around. Then take the other side, bloop. Do the same thing for the other side, bloop. And then you tie it. <sighs> then you just straighten it. Make sure it's flat. Cause like I said, if your durag don't look good, then you don't look good. Make sure it's even with the middle part of your head. Like, see my nose, go straight to the back. And that's basically how I tie this do-rag. Bloop. Next style we're gonna do is the one I do when I have the two-tone do-rag. This is one of my favorite do-rags because it's two-tone and I just, I love purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors. Notice how I said one of my favorite colors. So just like I did the velvet burgundy do-rag, Put it in the middle of your head. Then you go around. Tie. Tie. Come back. Hold it. Bring this around. Tie it just like I did the um, velvet do rag. Then what you do is what you do is this is what you do. Bring the top part, this part right here, onto the bottom part in the middle of the bottom part, and that's basically how I tie my two tone do rags. Usually with this one, I like to roll it up in the back, but we don't get to all that. Bloop. I don't want this one as much because I don't have pink stuff. I don't have like one pink polo shirt, but it's not the same color. I wouldn't wear it together. I just wear this for like a white t-shirt or whatever, or a black shirt. 
I put it in the middle just like I put the other do rags and tie it tie it the same way you see how long this is this is very long extremely long I tie it the same way I tie the other do rags. But here's the catch. Since it's so long and like string part is long, I double knot it. And then this part, this part is also long, right? So what I do is with this do rag, I either knot it like this. Tie it like this, like a knot like this, or side like that. And that's usually how I tie that durag. Loop. So I put the durag in the middle, like I did the other durags. Of course, just gotta reiterate just in case I had to skip through the video. I be saying people had a durag like this and like this, and you know, no, put it in the middle. People see that, people pay attention. It look gold, but this is actually orange. All right, look. Look. Then I tie it, obviously. This time, what we're gonna do with this part is we're gonna roll it up. Roll it up, roll it, roll it on the river. And that's basically how I tie this durag. Make sure it's not bulky in one area. Make sure it's evenly rolled. And bloop. One more after this durag. So the way we're going to tie this durag, because it's not long enough to like go around my big head. <laughs> Take it, put it in the middle, of course. Tie it. Come back around. Then we take this part. Or whatever side you want to start on this side, you want to start on this side, it don't matter. But I start on this side. Hold it. You tie it together. You pull it apart. And it's like a middle tie. I don't have names for these. I, I just do it and yeah. And with this one, I let it hang, depending on how I feel. Or I roll it up in the back. One more do rag. Whoop. This one never want to corroborate me. Be moving all kinds of ways and stuff. Tie it, obviously. I ain't have to show y'all because y'all already know how to tie it by now, hopefully. Then I take the right side, bring it around flat. Flat, flat. Like I said, people pay attention to stuff like this. Make sure it's flat. Make sure it's not like this. No, flat. You can see the threads. Take the left side, tie it. Yep. If the do rag ends are long, y'all do double knots and tie it like this. If the loops are long, that means the cape is longer too. So you can either let the cape hang or you can roll up. And those are basically all the ways out of every time I do rag. Um, yeah. I don't do all that extra stuff tying on my face or starting from the set. Nah, those are all of the simple ways I tie my do rags. And if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on so you all, oh, not some, not none of the notifications of my videos. Because you don't want to miss what I got coming next. I will catch you, 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 you. On the next episode of Trusted with TV, I am gone.